Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're not new, make sure you hit that notification bell before you leave as well as the subscribe button next to it so that you don't miss any of my videos. And to the people that have been with me forever, thank you guys so much for your support. I love you guys so much. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. If you guys know me, you know I don't really go anywhere. I work from home and I don't have to go to work every day, which is a blessing because I'm a homebody. I love being home. But when I I do go out like shopping or like running errands or something I like to put on a little like beat so if you guys follow me on my other social media platforms you know that I'm really obsessed with face masks and lately I've been loving my sand and sky pink clay mask as well as the sand and sky Australian emu apple mask this is a very hydrating mask that goes on like a jelly you guys will see but it's really cool. It's a really cool mask. I also want to thank Santa's Guy for sponsoring this portion of the video. Thank you guys. You always rock with me. Okay, so I'm going to use the Pink Australian Clay. This is more of a detoxifying mask. I'm going to put this in the center of my face because this really helps refine my pores and clears out all the dirt. So I'm combination skin, so I like to put hydrating face masks like on my cheek area and the clay masks in the center of my face. I love these little brushes that the Santa Sky masks come with because they're super convenient. I travel with these brushes and this mask all the time and it's just super convenient and it makes the mask so easy to apply. I'm also putting the mask on my temples because I tend to break out right there and I just want to detox a little bit in these areas. So now I'm going to go in with the new mask. This mask, the texture of it is very like jelly-like and it's actually really, really cool. And this mask definitely does what it says it's going to do. It's super hydrating and I love the little spatula thing that it comes with it's really cute and I'm just gonna put this in the areas where I want my face to be hydrated and this applies so evenly with this brush and when I take this hydrating mask off my skin feels so hydrated it's crazy. So as you guys can see, the clay mask is already drying on my face, which I like a lot because it doesn't take that long to dry. The hydrating mask just feels really, really cool on my skin, and it's very, very, very cooling. Like, you can feel the cool... I don't know what this is, but you can feel it. So I'm going to take my mask off. I'm going to use this little microfiber washcloth, and the masks come off so easily. So my face feels really, really good. Like in the areas where I put the hydrating mask, it feels super cooling still and hydrated at the same time. In the areas that I put the detoxing mask, it feels a lot drier and my pores feel a lot smaller, which is nice. So if you guys do want to pick up these masks, if you want to look at them, look at their website, I will have everything in the description box down below so you guys can check them out. So now we're going to get into the makeup. I'm going to use my NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. This primer is very, very hydrating, but it's not over hydrating to where you look oily. And this just really makes my base really tacky and it helps my foundation to stick. So in this video, I'm trying to use as many like affordable products as I can because I know a lot of people love drugstore stuff, but I only use drugstore stuff when it's good. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now, if you have pores... This primer is amazing for pores, and I think it's only 5 or $6. You can get it at Target. I put this in the center of my face so that my face doesn't get oily. If I don't prime, my makeup doesn't last as long. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. So I'm going to put some of this foundation on my hand, and then I'm going to take a beauty blender, and I'm going to apply this all over my face. And I haven't been color correcting lately because it just takes too much time. The next thing that I'm going to do is go in and conceal. I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is hands down probably my favorite concealer ever. I love this stuff because it's very lightweight, but then it gives you that full, full coverage. I just go in and... Place some product right underneath my eyes. I just put, I like to use a lot of concealer um, because I like that bright look, but you definitely don't have to apply that much of this. Because, and I like to put some on my 
nose right here. I'm going to put some above my lip. And I make this connect because I feel like the center of your face is where all the light hits. So you got to really do the inside of your face up. And what I do is I go in and take my beauty blender and just blend this out. And I also like to take some of the concealer and put it on my lid. Okay, so now what I like to do is take my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I like to bake a little bit. So I have a love-hate relationship with baking, um, meaning like leaving your powder on for like a minute or two while you do something else. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with it because sometimes I feel like baking and sometimes I don't. I feel like when my skin is right, baking is nice and when my skin is not right, it ain't. Product. And then I just press this into my skin. And this whole routine, I can probably do it in about 30 minutes. Then I go on my chin. So you know how you see those people with horrible flashback when they take pictures and stuff? I like to avoid that by using my MSF by MAC. This is like my photoshopping trick without using Photoshop. I use this MSF by MAC. Greatest mineralized powder ever made. I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use a little brush. And I'm going to sweep away this whitish powder. And first of all, this makes your under eyes look so creamy and so nice. But then it also gets rid of that flashback if you were to have any. I've never had a problem with Laura Mercier's flashback. I've never had a problem with Laura Mercier giving me flashback but just in case. So I like to be extra with my contour so I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Infallible Longwear Stick and I'm just going to place a little 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 tiny baby line right here in my contouring areas and I'm going to blend that out with the brush and a little bit of this product goes a really long way. So you see that it just kind of adds some definition to my face without doing too much. I like to go in with the CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer. Now they don't sell this bronzer anymore but they do have one that's very similar. So I'm going to tap that in and just apply this right on top of that contour. And this is what makes me look so warm. And I like to take this powder and bring it up on my forehead. See this is why I don't do my brows yet because I like to add bronzer to my brows. I just like everything to look really fluid. You know what I mean? And I'm going to take a little bit of that, the extra, and bring it down the bridge of my nose just to contour a little bit. So I'm going to go in and highlight. I'm going to use this CoverGirl Full Spectrum Sculpt Expert Versatile Cheek Palette. Now this sounds like a blush palette, but it's truly a highlighter palette. And it's so good like so good this has easily become one of my favorite highlighters so what I like to do is take this really pretty gold color right here and I take a little fan brush I like to apply this to the bridge of my nose just on the tip in the center just a little bit this thing is so intense and then I'm gonna apply some right here on my cheekbones So now what I've been using since I have like this multicolor fall inspired hair, I've been using this Morphe blush palette and it's really pretty. So I've been using the orange shade in this palette as a blush and it's called Provocative. And I like to put a little bit on my bronzing brush, smile and apply it. And I love this orange shade, I've been using it nonstop. I have to apply some Laura Mercier Medium Deep to carve my cheeks out. This step is unnecessary, but if you want to be beat, beat, beat every day, you got to make some sacrifices. And I just quickly go under that area like this. 
and it just really helps to carve out the cheeks and it makes everything look a lot neater because I'm not perfect when it comes down to contouring at all. My favorite part, which is really not my favorite part, we have to go in and do my brows. So I've been using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and just filling in the tails of my brows first. Since my brows are completely trash right now, I'm going to use some of my concealer and uh, try to fix them. And now I'm just going to take an eyeshadow brush and just blend that on out. Because. So I like to go in and use my MAC Bittersweet Lip Liner. This is a favorite lip liner of mine. And I apply that to the outer portions of my lip. So let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, sorry I didn't do this earlier, but I just line my lips like this. Then I go in with one of my favorite lipsticks lately, which is the Huda Beauty Interview Lipstick. And then I go back in with my liner. And then to top it off, since I've been loving a glossy lip, I'm going to use my favorite lip gloss, the Fenty Gloss Bomb. This is the original color. That. And then... I blend it in like this. So I'm going to spray my face with the iconic London face spray. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you. That was Leilani's little thumb. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye!